The other day I got an email off of my website from this guy who's bought all the t-shirts that I sell and was talking about other bands and uh, I want to demystify something. I want to bring to light the truth about this shit. And uh, he was saying, well, these bands who are, you know, they're not, re- they're not as good as Wild Dogs. They made zillions of dollars. And I'll tell you, no, they didn't. Nobody makes zillions of dollars. If they did make the kind of money people are led to believe they make, they wouldn't need the label. They would do it themselves. But uh, they got you like a pimp's got somebody under the thumb, always owing, and you never take home a check that you don't owe. That's what the guy from, the guy that produced a Ravers album ended up retiring in 2015 from, as the vice president, the head of Universal Inc. You know, you, you've seen Universal, you've seen that logo? Yeah, he offered me a job at MCA when I was 20 after the Ravers to work with him in the publicity department because he said, you have a natural aptitude for, for, <laughs> for propaganda. And... <laughs> Really, he, uh, he used to be JFK's uh, publicity guy. That's where he started, at Salters and Roskins. But uh, he told me, kid, in this New York accent, because that's where he's from, kid, musicians never make any money. We always tie them up. We keep them owing. We give them money. But there's always a loan at 25% interest. And they think they're making money. But uh, the only guy really making any money is the manager and the lawyer. And then you guys come in last. You split a dollar where you split half of all of that with the lawyer. And they get paid right off the top. And uh, so, uh, no, these, the, some of these guys that were in, you know, major hit pop bands that have been touring that are side guys, they said, well, I, I make 800 a week, which is, you know, about what a good cover band made in the 70s. I, I mean, per guy. But uh, if you're in the band, you, it's a different story. And uh, so, no, they are not everybody is millionaires. Otherwise, you know, think of all that tax money that, you know. <laughs> no, they're, they're owing a lot. A lot of bands are still on tour because they still owe their bill from 20 or 30 years ago. Well, they're not touring right now, but uh, a lot of them, you know, tour until they die. It's not because they love to do it. Otherwise, there's no money coming in, okay? Royalties stop. A lot of times, people get paid, you know, they, the, the label will pay you money to record the album, and that's all you get, okay? They tour because if they don't, there's no money coming in. There aren't all these rich rock stars around here that... Don't have anything to do. Guys that I know that were on major labels are all doing carpentry, construction, landscape, or uh, working in IT. But the thing is, on every contract with a major label, you can't talk about your deal or how crappy your deal was. I interviewed one band who was had a lot of hit records in the 90s. And uh, they told me that uh, the real deal, they said, man, we owe like $2 million dollars. They're in a nice bus. I go, nice bus. Well, we don't own this. We rent this every day for $2,000. So they basically play for free because the label takes all the money. So it's like, you know, like Lemmy said in the 60s, get on the bus or stay here and get beat up by this goon. Why do you think rockers, why do you think English rockers are small? I said, I don't know. It's just that way the goons don't have to be much bigger. <laughs> and, uh, so that's it. Record company. Everybody makes money but the guys on the stage. But they're the guys that are famous and everybody thinks they make money. And uh, because they think they make money, people give you stuff for free. Like that movie with the... Uh, oh, it was an old movie and the guy had, he had a fake check for $1,000. And so he, he traveled around the country on this fake $1,000 check that he said, when I get to somewhere and I cash this, I will... Pay, pay you, and $1,000 in that time was big money So because it was like the 1800s. But uh, that's enough about that. <laughs> the 70s were the place to be if you were in the, in the music business because there was tons of cash, nothing else to do, and people like cars, girls, and rock and roll. 
today there's so many more distractions and uh, and and there's types of music that are really huge that do make a lot of money with one song so there's a lot of people who will pay 99 cents to download or $1.99 to download a song and uh, there's really not a lot it, people don't make physical copies anymore a lot of, the ones that make a lot of money there's a lot of people that just release just only on iTunes and digital. They make a lot of cash. Okay. <sighs> Bye.